Hey everybody, happy Friday to you. Today what I wanna to bring to you is some talk about something that I've seen on the internet and specifically on some uh, different Facebook ads recently and it's something called a neck hammock. And I know it sounds crazy just from the description and if that sounds crazy, uh, the, you know, the, the, the actual physiology of what it does is going to be even crazier. And I wanna walk you through why this is not a good idea because I've actually got some questions from it on, you know, from, from, from different patients and people that I met in the community as of recently, seeing if the neck hammock would be a good thing for them to try out. So I wanna walk you through why this is not a good option uh, because it actually affects the physiology of the spine in a very negative way. But first, so that you have some reference as to what I'm talking about, I wanna show you what this thing is. So this is essentially what it looks like. It's um, a device that essentially tractions the neck backwards and separates all the joints of the cervical spine or of the neck right here and essentially takes pressure off the nerves while you're in the unit. And just from the surface, that sounds like a really good idea, but I wanna show you why that's not the best thing for dealing with neck pain. The reason that's the case is because of something called uh, the arc of life or the cervical curve, which is essentially the curve in your neck. You see, with your spine, what you actually want from the front is, of course, that spine straight up and down. Everybody knows that. We don't want sideways curves. That would be scoliosis. What we want is three different curves. We need one in the neck, which is one of the most important ones. We need one in the mid-back and then also one in the low back. That gives you your shock absorption and your ability to resist gravity. But what happens is so many people lose that curve in the neck, which actually stretches out the spinal cord inside here and it puts abnormal pressure on all the different nerves in this region, which can cause things like neck pain, shoulder pain, tension between the shoulder blades, even things like headaches, migraines, sleep problems. And these same nerves also go all the way down the arms and can cause numbness or tingling into your fingertips or even carpal tunnel-like symptoms. And of course, none of those things are things that we want to be dealing with. So what the neck hammock does is actually takes this curve that we should have in our necks and it pulls it out. And I want to show you uh, because I found this online as far as how it's doing it. So this is from one of the different manufacturers websites and they're showing us how it works here. So the traction unit obviously pulls back on the head and then the weight of the body keeps that part down and then gravity you know, is, is essentially in effect when the head falls down below. So the issue with this is what it's literally doing is stretching out that spinal cord inside, it's straightening out the neck and it's literally prolonging a a um, loss of curve in, in, in the neck. It's essentially making uh, your curve in your neck straight. And of course, that's not what we want. That is not the proper biomechanics for the spine. We don't want a straight curve in the neck like this. We want a good 45 degree curve like this. That's when everything is working properly. That's when your neurology is able to function correctly. That's when you don't have things like neck pain or tension between the shoulder blades. So I wanted to double click on that because I've had lots of different patients and even people out in the community asking me about the neck hammock. It's not something that you want to be purchasing. I feel very confident in saying that based on the physiology of the spine and all the training that I went through, it's not um, you know, getting the, the proper position in the spine that you want. Uh, so it was really, really, really important that I wanted to actually come on live today and share that with everybody because it's a super important thing to be looking at. If you're dealing with neck pain or cervical pain, back of the neck pain, uh, neck, if, you know, if you're, if you're looking for neck pain relief, if you're trying to relieve tension or discomfort, the best thing that you can do is get a very, very specific chiropractic adjustment. And of course, we're experts at that here at Deep Roots Health Center. As far as getting people relief from their neck pain, from their cervical pain, the back of neck pain, making sure that we're working on all those different areas that relate to the muscles in that region and all the different organs. Because when we can deliver a scientifically specific adjustment, that's what's going to ultimately make the difference. So I hope you guys learned something from this. If you have any questions or any comments, make sure that you put those down in the comments 
section. Make sure that you like this post and share it with somebody that you know that may be looking into the neck hammock because it can wreak havoc years down the road when we stretch that spine out. And that's what can cause things like degeneration of the spine and even things like arthritis in the spine. And again, that's what we want to avoid. So I hope you got a tip from that. Again, Dr. Ryan Carlson here at Deep Roots Health Center. I can't wait to see you all in the office this coming week. I hope you have a great weekend.